Hey guys, it's Wes. And John. Busy getting Disney. We just arrived at Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland, Vineland I think it is. Vineland Avenue. Vineland Avenue. There's a couple of Orlando Premium Outlets. This is the one closer to Disney and closer to our house. It's the bigger one too. So, yep. um, and it's not crowded today. It's a weekday. It's about 12 noon. We're going over to the Disney Character Warehouse, which is the Disney merchandise outlet. We're going to see what's there. Um, right now, because of social distancing, there is a virtual queue we need to get in. So first when we get there, we're going to give them our phone number to text us when um, when we can go in. We'll see how long it takes. But Yeah, they think this store opened at 11. We're, we're here probably about an hour after opening. So... Hopefully the line isn't too long, but we'll find out when we get closer to the, the store. We have to walk over there still. Yeah, we're going to head over now. And then, so it's about 12 noon now. And actually at 3.15, we have a late lunch reservation at Raglan Road uh, Irish Restaurant at Disney Springs. So we're going to wrap things up here and take you guys along with us to, uh, to lunch at Disney Springs. Let's head over. Ready? Sightseeing helicopters in this area. Okay, we're arriving at the Disney Character Warehouse. There's a little bit of a line, but like I said, we first have to get into the virtual queue and we will find out how long this wait might be today. How many is your buddy? Two. Okay guys, so we got into a group number, a group to wait to be called in. It's group number 53. And we've been in groups in the 20s before where it's taken about 30, 40 minutes. It all depends on how long those people that are already in the store now um, are shopping. Actually, the group number isn't 53. We have 53 parties before us. So we're not quite sure how long it'll take. Again, it depends on how long they're shopping in there, but um, I will let you guys know how long it takes. In the meantime, I think we're just gonna walk around the outlets. Okay, so I just came over here to look at the Funko Pops, but I have to tell you guys, the vendors in these side markets outside, they are so intrusive and overly persuasive. They kind of grab you as you're walking by to try to sell you something, and it is so annoying at times. It's really annoying when you just want to... Uh, very aggressive. Aggressive, yeah, they're aggressive. When you just want to window shop, they kind of, you pass their little stands and they kind of jump out at you and pounce. You get in your face and they're like, what do you want? Can I help you? It's a really yes. good deal. You guys look great today. It's just yeah. Funko Pops. It's like, hey, but <laughs> we passed one guy, one vendor. He jumped out and said, do you guys want to see something amazing? I was like, no. He said, dude, I love your shoes. So he tried to fix it, but I wish they wouldn't do that. Okay, gang, we just got notified that we can go in now. So there were 53 groups in front of us, but it only took us about exactly 55 minutes from the time we checked in. So that that wasn't bad. About a minute a group. Wasn't bad at all. We're taking a shortcut through the food court. One of my favorite things. Yay. So now after being called, we go and actually get into a small line. That's hardly any line at all for people who were texted that uh, their time has come. That it's safe to head in. I don't think there's going to be anybody in front of us. And we're in.
So we usually go right to the back of the store and then work our way forward because we usually want to start with the t-shirts anyway. And I'm already loving that Kermit the Frog shirt. I like the Fantasia shirt. It's kind of your style, but it doesn't have your size. This one was during Halloween. Seeing this, like, There's Halloween stuff over here yeah. still. They have some Christmas, like all those bags from Christmas. Okay, this is good. Leftover Halloween is always, is always cool to find here. Twelve bucks. Originally thirty seven dollars. Now only twelve dollars. Trick or treat bags. And these mugs. These mugs are actually Mickey's not so scary Halloween party twenty twenty. Which never happened unfortunately, but the mugs are Really cool, and they're only three bucks. <laughs> I think we have to get one of those. Wow, three dollars. That's awesome. Yeah. I've looked at this shirt before on property at the parks. This is down to $12.99 too, right now. We definitely need one of these mugs though. Okay, so we've got leftover Christmas here too, and John just picked up one of these. Bah Humbug Donald shirts. Donald is John's favorite. Favorite character. We've been seeing these ink and paint theme merchandise. We've been seeing this all over for the last almost two years maybe. I didn't think they would have ended up in here though, in the warehouse. What is that again? It's like a coloring set. Is it markers? Looks like it's, um, it's on here. They got crayons and colored pencils. Is that all in there or do you have to buy your own? No, that's oh, it's all, all in there. It's in a little that's cool. Case. Wow. That's cool for like a, a kid for a present. And it was $25, it's only $10. Or an adult. Or less. Yeah. Oh, these are real ceramic. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. That's heavy. It's a cool bowl. You wanted a journal, didn't you? I got one. Remember? This is eight bucks. It's nice. Would you need it? I like the drinking glasses. I don't see it. It's on the back. Is that what it says? $13? Right here. $13. Okay. $12.99. Wow. Well, yeah, that... These are ceramic too. $9. Very cool. I have always liked this cap. And it's always been about, I think, thir yeah, $30. It's only $7.99, but I just can't get past that plastic brim. I don't know. I like the rest of it. I just don't like that plastic part. I have loved Kermit since I was a little boy. And I... I'm thinking about this, but I usually wear a size medium, but sometimes Disney's mediums are really, really big. And I almost think a small would be better. I think. I'm thinking it might be a small. I already have a Madame Leota 
wallet just like this and John has a Jack Skellington but they're about half the price that they were before they're a little bit less I think they were 15 before and now they're six let's see the toy story I like the toys I like them all mm -hmm. and the classic ears hmm not that I need a second wallet but the one I have isn't gonna last forever Beware of hitchhiking toys. It's Forky. I love Forky. Magic bands. I love this one. I've looked at that one before, but I don't see a price tag here. Oh, yes, I do. $8.99. They were $30. It's Shaman Lady from uh, Avatar. Actually from Navi River Journey. $7.99. Regular $29.99. Wow. I think our job is almost done here. Not that we did much damage because this damage didn't cost too much at all. We did pretty good today. We did pretty good at the outlet today. Did a lot of damage, but didn't spend much money Got a at all. Big bag. <laughs> we did very well, very well. I think all together it was like 120 bucks for both of us. It, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss at the outlet there, at the character warehouse. You could get there on one given day and there's absolutely nothing there at all. And then other days like today, maybe they just put a bunch of, bunch of stuff out. But um, yeah, we got lucky today. So we're heading back to the car. And then we're jetting right over to Disney Springs for lunch at Raglan Road. So we will see you guys when we get over there. And we have arrived at Disney Springs, parked in the Lime Garage. It is not crowded here. It may look like it, but it's not. We got right through temperature check in about 10 seconds. So we're heading right over to Raglan Road now. We're almost an hour early for our lunch reservation, but they had so many openings, I'm thinking they're going to be able to take us in early. Such a nice day. We are getting here really early. Lime Garage is even close. The parking is even close to Raglan Road. I did eat here once a few years ago, but I'm getting something that I definitely didn't get last time. I don't think we ate here yet, dude. I, I ate here once. Uh, where, you with ate here Robbie. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. I think I just had fish and, yeah. I had fish and chips last time, but I'm, I've had enough fish and chips between Epcot and Disney Springs, so I'm... I think I don't know what I'm trying, but we'll look at the menu again. And I'm looking for what I, oh, there it is. Chicken each way. Yeah, it's gonna be that. What are you getting? Oh, you're getting the shepherd's pie. Shepherd's to die for pie. And we're hungry. So, I'm really hungry. So Wes hasn't been able to talk about anything else but food for like the past hour and a half. So he's he's on the verge of getting seriously <laughs> hangry. So we need to feed the monster before he which, gets to be unbearable. For which me. yes, and when it's at this level, that also means that there's going to be an appetizer involved. And I think 
right? I think it's going to be onion rings. This is going to be dangerous. We're going to the gym though after. <laughs> we are going to the gym. And we are totally checking out this gift shop on the way out because green is my favorite color. Look at all that green. So cool. We've already got a table. What a pretty dining room. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. I am excited and hungry. Actually, hungry and excited in that order. <laughs> this dining room is so pretty, isn't it? I forgot. It's been a while since I've been in here, but I... You have been in here with your parents? This is my dad's favorite restaurant whenever they come down. But we haven't eaten here in the past couple of times, so... Cool. I don't... I mean, I know I ate here, but I think... It was outside? I think it was you, nighttime. I think you said you were at, like, the bar outside that area. Because I don't remember. It was already oh, two and a half years ago, yeah, I think. I would have remembered this room. And since we're on Disney property, an always great advantage is the annual pass holder discount. You have to remember to tell her about that. <laughs> okay, how cool. Our server just bought us homemade soda bread and Guinness infused, is it? Guinness sugar and olive. Guinness sugar and olive oil dipping sauce. I've never wow. tried this before, but it's kind of like when you go to an Italian restaurant and they have the herbs and the olive oil and you put yeah. the bread in it. This looks really good. Good stuff. Cool. Wow. That's really good. It's not like just olive oil. It has the sweetness because the sugar is in it. So it's really good. Wow. Okay, check out our onion rings. They're really big. And a really cool cone-shaped uh, holder here. We got honey mustard sauce and ranch. And our wonderful server asked us if we'd like some more soda bread. And what do you think I said? Because it is so good. A little honey mustard. It's awesome. They're awesome. A little ranch. Mm. Now, typically, I like honey mustard. It's like my thing to go to. I usually go for mustard. I don't really care for ranch, but... You're going to try this one? I tried it already. Oh, okay. I like the ranch more than the mustard. It's not like... Um... It's not plain old ranch. It's like a it tastes like homemade. A, it tastes like there's like horseradish or something in it too. It's really good. Okay, the food is here. Here's John's shepherd's pie. Yeah, I think it was uh, she shepherd's to, shepherd's to die for pie or something. Shepherd's to die for pie. Look at that. That's wow. Really good. And each way chicken. It's making sense now. I'm um, their drumsticks, but the menu also says they're chicken stuffed. Drumsticks. Not sure what that means, but I think I'm going to find out that very soon. Sauce looks really good. I think they said it was a chicken bacon. Yep. Okay. You can see the bacon in it. We're not going to talk with our mouths full, so <laughs> I will turn the camera off while we're eating and not be free. But I do want to show you guys. So now I get it. Chicken stuffed drumsticks. It's actually a seasoned ground chicken on top of the chicken that's under the skin of the drumstick. And it is awfully good. Okay, we are done and we are really full. That was so good, but so filling, right? Oh, it was, it was just as good as I remembered. I never had the uh, shepherd's pie before. I think last time I was here, I had the same thing you did. I had the fish and chips and that, well, they were good too. Well, I had those last time. I had the yeah. fried chicken. I did too, I think the last time, so really good. Cool, really good, but so filling that we're taking a little bit home with us. We couldn't, <laughs> or well, I couldn't finish all of mine, believe it or not. Be a midnight snack, so. And we filled up, filled up a little bit on the soda bread, which was really awesome. And the other thing I have to say about the onion rings, the, the onion rings were great. One of the good things about it, you know, with so many onion rings, when you bite the onion ring, you can't, you can't like um, actually sever the onion. So you wind up pulling the whole onion <laughs> out of there. Not these. <laughs> Each bite, the onion broke. So anyway, that was a big deal for me. I liked it. It was good. I mean, the, the, the breading was good on it. It was, it was 
crispy, it wasn't soggy. I liked the dipping sauces because I never really dipped onion rings before, but now I'm gonna have to try that. So it was good. So um, I think we're gonna walk a little bit of this off and uh, maybe go check out, see what's going on over at uh, World of Disney. Oh no, we're, first we're gonna check out the gift, the gift, shop, the gift here. shop here. Because like I said, green is my favorite color and that shop is loaded it's with- completely green. green. <laughs> so let's go see. <laughs> Drapery and gifts, this is it. <laughs> Pretty jewelry. Where every day is St. Patrick's Day, clearly. It's right in front, you don't have to wait online. You don't have to go around the back of the building like all the other times. Hey, no virtual queue, it looks like we can walk right in. Ooh, that's awesome. No wait. Oh my goodness. Very cool, World of Disney has out a whole display of Chinese New Year merchandise and decorations. The envelopes. They're usually not supposed to be blue or pink, but I think it's cool that they have the character. Jersey. Mm -hmm. There's even like hidden ish Mickey on here. Thirty percent off all the pride stuff. It's the same stuff from last year. We haven't got anything new yet. I think it's just because they weren't really able to sell it yet. Okay, just one big purchase. Like I need another. Hopefully not for much longer, but one large Walt Disney World mask. I'll wear it at Epcot tomorrow. I am still so full. <laughs> are we gonna be able to work out? Are we we have to, to work out. We have no choice. We are working How out. How are we gonna move? I don't know, but we're I doing it anyway. So After that meal, we still have more. <laughs> we got our leftovers. You guys, thanks for joining us today. It was a really nice day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, shopping with us at the Character Warehouse and lunch with us at Raglan Road. We uh, are heading to the gym. I already started my Christmas shopping for this year. <laughs> he did, that's true. So like whenever I go to the Cartridge Warehouse because of like how how good the deals are, I'll like find things and I'm like, oh, that person will like that and that person yeah. will like that. And I have like a box at home, so I just start putting things in the box. And then when it comes time for Christmas, I'll take it out like, oh, I got that. I forgot about that. Even though it's up. only January. It's only January. But anyway, you guys, thanks for joining us. Um, if you enjoyed this vlog, as always, please click like. And if you're not already subscribed and would like to continue the journey with us, we love your company. Please click that little red subscribe button. It's Wes. And John. <laughs> Busy getting Disney. Over and out. Have a Bye. great day.